Hey everyone! Today's video is for the May Polish Gamers Box. This month the Polish Gamers Box is themed after indie games. The Polish Gamers Box opens every month on the 15th. I will have all of the sale details down, down below. Um, let's just get into these. First up we have 1422 Designs with Ultimate Knockout. This one is inspired by the Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout logo and it's described as a bright blue Crelly with blue to purple to pink shifting shimmer, pink hollow glitter, violet hollow glitter, and a rainbow shifting rainbow glitters. This one is priced at $12 for 15 ml and has a cap of 50 bottles. This had a fantastic formula. It didn't feel overly thick or overly thin and I did not have any application issues. Um, the glitters in this all spread out evenly and evenly on their own. I did not need to do anything special. Um, I also did not need to hold the bottle upside down between coats to get the glitter coverage that I have. This one is jam packed with components and it's so beautiful. Um, the shifting shimmer is more subtle. I didn't really see too much of a shifting shimmer to be honest. To my eye it looked like a bluish purple so I can kind of see how it could be a shifting blue to purple shimmer. This is just slightly on the sheer side. You can kind of see here um, my visible nail line. You can see like my fake nail and then you can see my natural nail under there. This will be difficult to remove due to all of those glitters. I use three coats and um, two coats of top coat to completely smooth it out. I totally forgot to mention this in the intro. 1422 Designs is doing a respawn, aka restock on their polish from the January Polish Gamers box. This one was called cruising in my ATV. This one sold out super, super duper fast. Uh, last time, so she, um, so Bonnie is bringing it back. It is capped at 75 bottles. I expect this one to sell out really, really quickly. So if you missed this polish, I do have a review of it up on my blog. I'll have the blog post for this one link down below and let's get back into the swatch video. Next up, we have Adored Colors making their Polish Gamers debut with the Mind Saver. This one is described as a murky greenish brown base filled with a silver scattered hollow hex glitters and deep purple with gold, yellow, and green undertoned glitter. It's priced at $11 for 15 ml and has a cap of 30 bottles. The Mind Saver had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin. It was very opaque for a crelly like polish. The glitters all spread out evenly and easily on their own. I found that the base color was more of like a warm mocha, maybe like a camel type nude shade. Um, I just love this base paired with the glitters. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. This was opaque on me in two coats. That's right, two coats. I, I was very excited that this only needed two coats. This does dry down, fairly textured, but I was very surprised again. It only needed one coat of top coat to completely smooth it out. It will be a little difficult to remove from all of those glitters, but totally, totally worth it. Next up is My Indie Polish with Balloon People. This one is inspired by the game Inside. This one is described as a crelly that has a lot of great glitters, but there are turquoise gray and larger red glitters that are super random. Every Manny is totally random, just like the game. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and has a cap of 75 bottles. Balloon People had a great formula. It was slightly on the thinner side from what I would expect, but it did not feel watery. Um, I didn't have any application issues. So the base is like a cool toned gray that has like a very slight taupe and almost violet tone to it. It's a very interesting color that I really enjoyed. And for the glitters, the glitter shapes that I was seeing um, were stars, hearts, circles, and hexes. And they're in a variety of different sizes. I found for the larger ones that were the stars, hearts, and the circles, they are more sparse on the nail. Um, I, the way that this polish is made, you will, you can't really control which ones you get. I did try fishing around in the bottle to specifically get some stars and hearts and it just was not working. The way that this polish is formulated is that like what you get is what you get. It's really, it's going to be difficult if you want specific glitters in specific places because they just were not coming out of the bottle. 
I did end up doing a little bit of glitter placement um, on my pointer nail and my middle nail because I'm obsessed with glitters and I couldn't help myself. But that is completely optional. You do not need to do that. I use three coats for my photos. This will be a little tricky to get off from all of those glitters. And the final polish I have to share is by Swamp Gloss and this one is called Everyone, Everyone is Free. This one is inspired by Oxenfree and it's described as a navy blue base with red to gold to green flakies. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 150 bottles. This had a great formula. Um, it is a jelly, so it was slightly on the sheer side. <laughs> I was actually kind of unsure if this was going to build up on its own, but it built up really nicely in three coats. Um, I did not have any application issues with this polish. The flakies pair really beautifully in the base. They look super color shifty. So I did mention it was on the sheer side. I ended up go I ended up using uh, slightly thicker coats to get the opacity that I have here. I will also have a swatch photo of this on my thumbnail with using a blurring base coat. So I've totally spaced and I forgot to do a movement shot for this polish. Really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any staining or any other issues with this polish. And that's everything. So I'm having the hardest time deciding on which one of these polishes was my like top pick or favorite. I really, really liked all of them for different reasons. So I won't be picking a favorite this video. Just know I really enjoyed all of these. And shout out to Judy from Adored Colors for this is um, their first month doing Polish Gamers Box. So make sure to show some love. And I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.